Hey guys, welcome back to The Plump Room. My name is Cressy and Ali, can you guess what today's episode's about? Hi guys! So, dry January officially ended on the 4th of January at 1 minute past 8pm. We must therefore go into a national lockdown. So, we were thinking of doing low ABV, ABC, whatever it is, cocktails for January. But no! <laughs> Plans have changed, times have changed, and I need a shot, and a good shot. One that's going to keep me warm and away from my feelings. So, we are doing Fireball. Fireball was created by a Canadian bartender who decided to infuse whiskey and cinnamon together to combat one of the coldest winters on record. Speaking of cold, it is freezing in here. It's about minus two. But yeah, so we're doing Fireball. Isn't it just like Goldschlager? Yeah, like the one with the gold flakes that like if you drank it, the gold flakes would like cut the back of your throat and you'd get pissed faster. Try that. not true even though it's cool it's not true so i think fireball actually came out first it came out in the 1980s whereas goldschlager came out in the 1990s the more you know what does this stuff taste like ali would you like to try some fireball was it there uh, the whole thing is like tastes like heaven burns like hell it's 33 percent charles If you breathe through your teeth like this. Yeah, but <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, this is a this is a nice change to fan it. You're just pocketing your little fireball. What does it taste like, Ali? I actually really like it. Yeah, like, I mean I, I remember fireball as like shitty nightclubs. Like it's there. And I miss shitty nightclubs and dive bars Just so much. Nothing against Fireball, but you'd see that next to like Aftershock, Sours. I'd have it, but you know, I wouldn't want, want it. So this stuff just tastes, this stuff tastes like pure cinnamon. Like you get like a pump with it as well, but like with Fireball, you're supposed to serve it. You're supposed to serve it cold. Well, it, it's sweet and it's cinnamony. It's like warm and comforting. It's like, uh, honestly, like if it's freezing out, I'd, I'd shoot Fireball, yeah. Choice between Diego and Fireball, which one would you choose? I um I would like to evoke my uh, Fifth Amendment right. No, it's great. Like to be honest, bartenders don't drink this enough. Bartenders are too concerned with being like, oh yeah, that's all shots of burn it. Like this stuff. If I'm going out, yeah, Fireball's gonna be on my list of shots to drink. Why? Because like tastes like cinnamon and it's a laugh. And yeah, this stuff like like you, it reminds me of bar dive bars. And the one thing I'm missing at the moment is like a dive bar where I, I can drink beer and like do shots and listen to loads of Motley Crue. Also, if you're wondering, me and my friend are forming a cult tribute band to Motley Crue, except we're calling it Motley Poo. Greatest hits like... Kickstart my shot. Piles, piles, piles. And um... Doctor Strange Poo. Doctor Strange Poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Motley Poo. P-U with the two dots. <laughs> Kickstart my shot. No, no. Right, are we going to make a cocktail? Okay, cool. So what you need is a highball, some fireball. Highball, fireball rhymes together. Uh, blueberry soju. Soju is a Korean wonderful liquid. Actually, soju is like the most sold uh, type of alcohol in the world, which is mad. Probably you never heard of it. Blueberry soju. Malic acid. So this is malic acid solution. So it's like hot water and a bit of malic acid. Malic acid is the acid which tastes like sour green apples that you'll have in your sour green apple sweet. We've also got stuff like citric acid, which you guessed it, citrus based acid. <laughs> Ooh. Then we're gonna have a bit of soda water and some sugar syrup. So like we're kind of doing a whiskey highball, but like it's not a whiskey highball. It's just a bit fun. Right, so 30 mils of fireball. Duh, I am gonna be using my trigger jigger that I can never find. I love this piece of equipment, it's great. 
30 mils of fireball. Ooh, lovely. It's already quite a sweet thing. And then we're going to be going into 20 mils of blueberry soju. Soju is something that's kind of based in South Korea. Call it naughty water because it's basic. It tastes like water, but it's alcoholic. So it's 12% of this stuff. You can get it in uh, most Asian supermarkets. Uh, it's about fiver for a bottle this size. It's just great. It's like super refreshing as well. I really recommend it. We'll do it. We'll do a whole episode on soju at some point. So a bit of blueberry soju. So think of like cinnamon and blueberries. Or pancakes. And then we're going to do five mils of sugar syrup. Yeah, I hope that's five mils. And then we're going to be doing like a two mils of malic acid solution. So malic acid is like your green apple-y acid flavor. So I kind of want two mils, so I need to just do another little bit. So that's gonna even out with the sweetness and stuff and add some citrus to it without actually having to use perishable citrus. And then once that's in, we're gonna put a bit of a uh, bit of soda water in. So it's kind of like a whiskey highball, but like absolutely not a whiskey highball because uh, there's like far too much sugar in this. So we'll just put a bit in here. It's all about halfway because you're also gonna like fill it with ice cubes and stuff. Good soda water is um, is really important, so I'm hoping it's going to be fizzy enough. And then we're just going to top it with some ice cubes. So the idea with the soda water is you want to be able to get the ice cubes all the way to the top and not have something we call floaty ice. Floaty ice is just, it's a no-no. No one likes floaty ice. The great thing about this is just like, you know, you've got ice from top to bottom, so that's going to keep the glass cold, keep the ice cold, keep the drink cold, so it's just going to taste better for longer. And then uh, give it a little stir around. And uh, garnish wise, here is our thigh ball with a Twinkie. Classic. Oh, I'm a classic. So you can drink this, eat this, and just feel a little bit warm inside, even though everything's going to sh but it's all gonna be fine guys. Just like, don't spend your time sober. Substantial meal. It's a substantial meal. Oh wait, we're not in tier two anymore. We're in tier seven. Whatever f number he's come up with now. Pink eyed Terminator sent back from the future to cull the human race. With Fireball, you can get this online. You can get this most places. Uh, it's quite common. You can get it most off licenses as well. Yeah. So we are, we're, we're a few days, quite a few days early. <laughs> for Fireball Friday, or late, however you want to see it. Fireball Friday, the only Friday that matters. If you come here on Friday, you get one pound shots of Fireball. Oh wait, we're not a licensed bar and you can't come here. <laughs> and remember, some people treat their bodies like temples, but let's face it, in Pump Room, we treat our bodies like a dive bar. Keep them sticky, keep them rad, keep them loud. Me and Ali have serious flatulent issues. Anyway. Give this stuff a try at home. Go get some Fireball, go get some Twinkies, go get some Soju, whatever you need to do to get you through this. This stuff's great. Have it in your morning coffee. Have it in a highball. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We need your support. It's important that you like and subscribe so we can keep doing what we love. Also, we have pins back in stock in our shop. There is a link in the bio for that down below me. And also we have some new merch coming in the next couple weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Yeah. See you next week.